on the best podcast available. Happy to be joined by one of the new members of your Cleveland Browns here in 2023, Obo Onkaronkwo. And Obo, welcome to Cleveland. Weather? Pretty nice right now? Pretty nice. Are, are you liking it? I'm not like, liking it? I'm liking it a lot. The city's really cool. Very welcoming. What do you like about it so far? Uh, the people are so nice here, you know. Uh, the fans are really into it. They really love Cleveland football. I'm excited. What about food-wise? Anything that you're into here in the early going? Food-wise, I've been to Marble Room. I had a had a nice little steak there. It's a popular place here with this football team. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm a fan. All right. What kind, is there a certain kind of steak? If you're going to a steakhouse, what uh, is there a favorite kind, favorite uh, type? So I don't really eat red meat. Okay. Like, like on occasions I do, and I'll get a Wagyu. <laughs> I, mean, I don't really know how to follow up with anything else other than that's really, really good. Um, I, I eat a lot of red meat, as you can tell. Um, it's all right. Uh, Obo Onkarakwo is our guest here at, on the best podcast available. So you like Cleveland, not as hot maybe as, as Houston or some of the other places that you've grown up and, and been around? Yeah, definitely not as hot as Houston. <laughs> I was told uh, it was hot and humid here, and I got here, and I was like, oh, it feels amazing compared to Houston. I was going to say, it's not it's not awful. For like five months, I grew up here, so five months out of the year, it's a fantastic place to live. I'll ask you this again in December maybe, and we'll have maybe a, a little bit of different answer. But Sorry, I brought my coats. It's that, all good. That's fine. You have, you have a coat, and you're done, you know, hopefully we're done in early February, mid-February. But by that point, you know, the month of February is not great anyways. I don't think the sun comes out. So that's when you go somewhere warm and yeah, for sure. go hang out. All right. You were born in Gainesville, Florida. When did you end up, how'd you end up in Houston, Texas? When did you end up moving? Um, early years, about three or four. My mom moved to Houston. She got a job in Houston. Okay. Grew up in Houston. Played football. Anything else you play? Um, I just I skateboarded a little bit. Really? Yeah, I skateboarded. All right, Jeff McDaniel from our uh, content and production team still does it. Baco does it too. Oh, fire. So, uh, do you still do it? Uh, I mean, I'm too big now, and I don't want to get hurt. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a long fall. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why I stopped snowboarding because it just hurt. Right. You know, everything hurt when you land and you fall six feet. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So you skateboarded. What made you decide to go to Oklahoma? Um, I guess uh, I was actually committed to Oklahoma State. Okay. Um, I ended up taking my visit to Oklahoma, and it just felt like home, you know. After being there, I saw that uh, it was going to just be a, a really good place to uh, nurture my, you know, my NFL hope, hopeful dreams, you know. So um, I ended up choosing there, switching my commitment. Is there a favorite memory that you have from your time at Oklahoma? You were a Big 12 player of the year uh, on the defensive side of the football. Uh, first team, all Big 12. Uh, you racked up some pretty big accolades while you were at Oklahoma. Is there a memory that stands out, a big win, anything like that? Um, I think favorite memory, uh, we beat Ohio State at Ohio State. Um, I, I think it. And Baker, Baker grabbed the flag and it, it – uh, it hit it at, on their logo. I think that was like one of the craziest like OU memories I have for sure. Uh, it, it, you guys had a heck of a squad. Yeah, you guys, we did. Yeah, you guys we did. had some good good teams uh, in those years. What what prepared you in college to take that next step to the NFL? Oh, uh, I think uh, OU they treat it like I think it's ran like an NFL team. You know, um, very very. Um, business like very mature they really uh hold you accountable you know so that prepared me for the league so when i got here the transition wasn't so hard you get to the national football league uh and things start off you're, you're in los angeles you're with the rams it ends up with the super bowl uh what was your experience like there okay so my rookie year we went to the super bowl and lost so I, I didn't want to dwell on that. <laughs> I, I, I'm so, like, let's go for the positive. Yeah, which so, is so going back and winning one definitely felt a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, it felt like a movie. I, when people ask me, I, I don't really know what to say. I just tell them it was football heaven. Like it's, it's uh, the, the crazy wildest, most funnest things you can think of football related. Like that, that, that's what it is. You know? Really? Yeah. It was, it was, it was so cool. Like, we felt like we were just like superheroes for like for like two months. It was it was amazing. All right, so you you did go your rookie year and and fell short uh, as as a team. How difficult really is it? Not just to get back to the playoffs, but to even get back to the Super Bowl and put yourselves in a position to win. Oh, it was, it was super difficult. I, I believe that next year we didn't make the playoffs. You know, um, 
But, you know, it, so you sort of get that recipe, you know, you know what it takes and what it looks like to get to a Super Bowl, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm really just glad to be able to have experienced that and bring some of that experience over here. Talking with Obo Okorakwo, our new uh, defense event here on the 2023 Cleveland Browns. Uh, you win a Super Bowl, and what was the biggest, what was the best part of the after party? Was there a, what was there a specific music artist or? I mean, who played who so played the after? Party? So we were in L.A. I think it was uh, Gunna, but we were in L.A. So it was like every celebrity there, you know. But I think uh, my best memory for the after party, uh, uh, Vaughn, he got on his uh, he got on the ones and twos and he started DJing the party. <laughs> really? Yeah. So that was cool. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Fast forward. Now a Cleveland Brown. You had some success last year in Houston, especially the second half of the year. You got the opportunity to play uh, a little bit more, and you made the most of it. And it really propelled you into free agency where you had a lot of options. What made Cleveland stand out to you? I uh, just saw the young talent on this team, you know, um, from top to bottom, this roster stacked um, offense, defense. You know, I just saw a great opportunity, you know. Um, also being able to just uh, – play with, you know, one of the best quarterbacks in the league, you know, uh, it was it, it just on paper. It looked amazing playing on the opposite side of Miles Garrett. You know, uh, it just it was too it was too good of an offer to pass. What's it been like so far with Miles? I, I know that he's been here for a little bit on and off, but uh, your interactions with him. Oh, he's a super cool guy. You know, uh, he uh, he loves the game. Uh, he's he's probably somewhere training right now, you know, um, the guy. He's a freak of nature. You know, he can do a lot of stuff that I'll never be able to do. You know, <laughs> you know. I just, don't say that. I, mean, I don't know. I, about I mean, that. I'm just really, I'm really excited to to play for, uh, play alongside him. You know, he's a really cool dude. I'm um, ready to learn a lot from him. What about Jim Schwartz? What stands out uh, so far through the off season program? Uh, his energy. You know, he's the same guy every day. Um, he loves the game. He he wants us to play with our hair on fire. He's gonna allow us to. He he literally told us to take the seatbelt off and go play football. So so that's fun. It is. Is your one of your goals to have him wear your jersey at practice? That's definitely one of my goals. I don't want him to know that yet, but <laughs> but when I do come out and see him wearing wearing those jerseys, I'm like, when it's not a 54, I do get a little upset. So <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good to have that motivation. So, what are your goals as we get into the off season here? You know, I mean, you guys are around for another couple of weeks, and then, uh, you know, you get a little breather before you really hit the ground running here with training camp. So, so I have a, uh, my short term goals is just, uh, just for weight goals, you know, body comp goals. Um, and then, uh, team bonding goals just to be able to like, be able to hang out with the guys, you know, with away from the facility for a couple, about a couple of days, you know, um, my, my long-term goals. I mean, I, we all play for the same reason, you know, I don't have to say, you know, but we're working for, to build something special in that building. So, Will you do anything fun? Any plans to get away from Cleveland here in the five and a half weeks? Uh, I might get away a little bit, but for the most part, I'll be with my password guy. Um, we'll we'll have some of the D line. We'll all meet up and do some stuff together, you know. But for the most part, it's just really it's time to go. I like that, indeed. Anything else that we can? What else do you do in your spare time? What do you like to do? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm. I think was it Jerome had a Twitch account? Yeah, he was big. He was promoting that pretty hard. Uh, I mean, I do photography as well. Um, I do I do a lot of photography. I, I actually like get booked and, and and shoot for people sometimes. You know. Um, I hear uh, a rumor that you might be doing some headshots now uh, at media availability for mandatory minicamp. Hey man, don't listen to every rumor. <laughs> I like starting rumors, so I got that going. For I guess it. we'll see. You know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I enjoy photography as well. Um, it's right now the reason why I'm like so like coy about it is because you know as as football rolls around, I try to put everything up and just you know have la laser focus on. on just football because you know it's an opportunity right now um it's a, it's a big opportunity to play with this roster you know um i feel like right now like we have a great window for success you know so we just want to maximize it obo okaranko i appreciate the time wish you all the best here enjoy the off season get some downtime enjoy a little marble room maybe a little wagyu maybe <laughs> if you want to but uh enjoy everything and we look forward to seeing you here this fall thank you man